Yep, let's do it. So what are you going to show us right now? I'll okay. take a little picture of it. There's our book. Oh, there's your name. <laughs> I found this funny. <laughs> yes. My favorite pieces of humor and some that may not be funny at all. The perfect book for the bathroom, airplane, or dentist office. And it has short stories and poems and journalism. There's a lot of things in here that uh, I, I just find amusing. Almost 500 pages, which is good for your dollar. Uh, one person that we discovered along the way was this cartoonist named Hooglikur Dogson. Did I pronounce it right? I'll never know. He's from Iceland. Uh, and these are cartoons that I guess were probably written in his native Icelandic tongue that are kind of shocking and hilarious. They're almost stick figures. And uh, I can show you a few. Yeah, that would and be great. And then we can decide why is it funny? I don't know. Let's let's we can break it down. Okay. So cool. This is the first one. Well, this okay. one is very simple. It just says, "God, you're beautiful." And uh, I don't know why is that funny? Because he finds a, a thousand pound woman beautiful who's been eating fish and drinking liquor, and there's a lot of bones around. But maybe that is a wonderful, sweet thing. Maybe that's not humor. Maybe that uplifts our soul. Or maybe it's just a dark, nasty joke. I don't know, but I, I found it interesting. This is my the second one I like. Okay. It says, I can save him. There is a man with a swastika on his chest <laughs> who clearly has peed and pooped himself, has a hypodermic needle and liquor and beer cans around, and she's so in love with him. She has a heart above her head. Is that what women think? I can save him? Hmm. Like, uh, most of my work, I guess, has been based on that premise of women helping men yeah. uh, to try to grow up. And maybe this is an extreme example, and that's why I find it amusing. Maybe not. Maybe it's not. Okay, something simpler here. Okay. This is all a right. simpler kind of joke. I don't know why this is funny, but it is funny to people of all ages. And if you say you don't find it funny, you're lying. Uh, and this is, uh, it looks like they're doing Romeo and Juliet. And uh, the woman seems to be pooping off the balcony onto the man. And then the man says, that's not in the script. See, I can enjoy that, and my eight-year-old daughter Iris can enjoy that. Well, this is comedy bringing people together. So if you buy this book, not only does all the money go to 826 to uh, help kids learn about English and to tutor kids for free, uh, you also will uh, get to see humor such as that. Quick question: Is it? Do you think it's like? I mean, there's it's, it's the opposites that are funny, right, or something like that? I don't break it like, down. If I break, break it down, it's like staring at a hot dog, and if you look too long at a hot dog, you will not eat it. So if I think about it too much, my brain will will, will go to mush. It's like when you play the piano. If you think I'm playing the piano, uh, and then you stop, you can't you can't think about it. You just gotta go. So I refuse to have that conversation with you. Although I believe John Cleese would talk to you about that for five hours, and Freud and the collective unconscious. But I don't understand any of that. I just know pooping on a dude is funny.